The first humans to watch the waxing and waning of the moon and to use the setting sun to mark the passage of the seasons took the first steps along a path that leads directly to today's modern observatories and high-tech instruments. Nowadays, an astronomer is more likely to study an image of the universe stored on a computer screen than to stare at the night sky, straining to catch the faintest signals from remote objects. The earliest astronomical observations were made with the naked eye and recorded on clay tablets or papyrus. As the sophistication of the instruments used for observations has improved, so astronomy has advanced, although some of the fundamentals laid down long ago are still valid today. For example, the basis for the modern brightness scale for stars was first set out in the star catalogue compiled by the Greek astronomer Hipparchus in the 2nd century BC. Throughout history, technological advances have ushered in new and fundamental changes in our perception of the physical world. The Danish astronomer Tycho Brahe used a mural quadrant to make accurate measurements of the motions of the planets. The unprecedented accuracy of his measurements led Kepler to formulate his famous laws describing the motion of the planets, overturning the age-old paradigm that placed the Earth at the center of the universe. Later, Kepler's laws contributed to the theory of gravitation developed by Isaac Newton. In 1609, Galileo was the first to use a telescope to look out into space. This new invention at once revolutionized astronomy and opened new windows on the universe. Among Galileo's startling discoveries were the dark seas of the moon, moons around Jupiter, and sunspots. More recently, at the beginning of the last century, Edwin Hubble used the great Californian telescopes at Mount Palomar and Mount Wilson, then the largest in the world, to discover the expansion of the universe and subsequently to confirm Albert Einstein's recently published theory of general relativity. Astronomers have always relied heavily on the different instruments and technologies available to them. Technology and scientific advance have always been closely coupled. For hundreds of years, science was the province of individuals or small groups, using whatever means they had. However, as astronomers seek to extract ever more intractable information from remoter objects, a new trend has emerged. Larger projects, larger instruments, larger research collaborations, and larger amounts of data are needed to probe ever further out into the universe. This new trend requires innovative technological solutions to ensure efficient communication between collaborating groups and high-speed computing to handle massive amounts of data. Today's instruments, on the ground and in space, observe the sky over a whole range of wavelengths not visible to our own eyes, from radio and infrared to ultraviolet, X-ray and gamma radiation, resulting in the discovery of many completely new astrophysical phenomena that require expert interpretation. Many of the astronomical space observatories such as the Infrared Space Observatory and the XMM-Newton X-ray Telescope, were built and are operated by the European Space Agency. Others, like the Hubble Space Telescope, are collaborative projects between ESA and NASA. All these sophisticated instruments are accessible to all scientists throughout the world. In the future, instruments such as the Next Generation Space Telescope, a deployable 6-meter infrared telescope, and ALMA, an array of 64 microwave telescopes, as well as enormous ground-based optical telescopes as large as 100 meters in diameter, will pave the way for more discoveries. They will show us planets around other stars and the first stars and galaxies in the making. Modern computers and data processing techniques have transformed astronomy. Observations are no longer recorded on photographic plates, but the incoming light from stars and galaxies is collected by the telescope and then converted into digital signals. 
These digital images are stored in computer archives and are accessible to astronomers over the internet. Astronomers all over the world, not only those who originally made a particular observation, can access and use the data to pursue their own research. For example, one astronomer may collect an image to study the structure of a particular galaxy, while another scientist may use exactly the same image to study the stars in the image. The same valuable data collected by sophisticated and costly instruments can be used many times over in different projects by different groups across the world. Ground and space-based telescopes observe the same sky at different wavelengths and the resulting images are often startlingly different. But the archiving process for these very different observations is now technically very similar. Observations of stars, nebulae or galaxies taken with a multitude of instruments can be combined easily. A new multi-wavelength window has opened on the universe and has revealed new, sometimes unexpected physical phenomena for further study.